The boundary between solid metal and liquid metal can be much less solid than we ever suspected. We've discovered that the liquid solid boundary can fluctuate back and forth with metal atoms near the surface breaking free from the crystal lattice. Studying a metal alloy mass solidifying in the sea of liquid metal, we observed a surface phenomenon that's never before seen. The boundary between liquid and solid metal fluctuates backwards and forwards. At this interface, metal is changing from a solid state into a liquid state and back again. That was totally unexpected. The fluctuation is happening at unexpectedly low temperatures far below the melting temperature of the solid metal, i.e. 200 degrees below liquidness. Modeling shows solvent atoms escaping the solid structure, causing the liquid-solid boundary to retreat inwards into the solid. Then, as the liquid becomes supersaturated, atoms rebind with the crystal lattice, causing the liquid-solid boundary to advance outwards again. The result is that the liquid-solid boundary oscillates backwards and forwards within a time span of approximately half a second. We believe this solid liquid fluctuation of the crystal surface will be occurring every time crystallization occurs. We can't know yet what applications this might ultimately lead to. We don't know whether some of them will use this in understanding and synthesizing grouped alloys or to reduce energy use and alloy creation. Well, who knows what? That's why fundamental science is so cool.